Первая женщина в мире, которая согласилась изменить свои гены, чтобы остановить процесс старения. Она живет в Америке, ее зовут Лиз Перриш, и она активист генной терапии. I have my first question and I let's start. You know, you, you are the first woman in the world who agreed to change her genes to stop the aging process, yes? And defeat aging or cure aging, it sounds like science fiction, something like that, you know? Is it real or it's uh, good to be true? Yeah, so absolutely it is possible. So we have already slowed aging in model organisms. And as a matter of fact, humans, because of the science that we have taken part of, we already live longer, better than we did just 100 years ago. And if you compare us to 200 years ago, um, most people my age would already have been dead. So historically, we die mostly of infectious disease. Then we started using things like sanitation and antibiotics and immunizations, and that radically changed how we live. And people live biologically younger, longer now. But unfortunately, we live about a third of our life in ill health and disease uh, due to biological aging. So in all of the industrialized countries, biological aging is now the biggest killer. What about uh, your personal therapy? Can you, uh, can, can you tell the story about it? Because as far as I know, it was four years ago, you was 44 years old and you tried to receive two experimental gene therapies. Yeah. Yeah, so let me give you a little bit of history first. So from 2011 to 2013, I volunteered for regenerative medicine, and that is how BioViva was born. I, I created a company called BioViva. We looked at the two most likely technologies to treat biological aging today. One was a gene therapy to lengthen the telomeres at the caps of the ends of the chromosomes. It tackles the most hallmarks of aging, the most things that are happening at the base level of aging, and it had never been used in a human, and yet it had reversed aging in animal models. It had created healthy immortal cell lines, not like cancer, but healthy immortal cell lines. And it it essentially targeted most of what we needed for biological aging. The second gene therapy was to increase muscle mass. And that gene therapy had been through safety and efficacy for muscular dystrophy. So it was a really good candidate for frailty in aging people. So uh, in 2014, I went to 10 investors and I said, would you give me money to do this if I will take this, this gene therapy and we will have the first proof of concept that this technology works. We will light the world on fire and show them that it's time to treat biological aging and hurry up because we can also get cures for kids. I found only one that would do it. Everyone said I was crazy. They said, no, that's crazy. Um, but to me, doing nothing is absolutely crazy because we already know how we'll die. So in 2015, in September of 2015, I took the first two gene therapies to treat biological aging and I'm still really glad that I did that. And yet again, it's important for me to clarify, what are telomeres? Telomeres are the caps at the ends of your chromosomes. So if you look at this, this is a Lego, and think of that as this is the chromosome, and each one of these is a coding gene, okay? Every time your cells divide, you not only lose one of the caps of your chromosomes, but you lose a cap off of each side of it. So when you're conceived, you have 15,000 base pairs of these telomeres. When you're born, you have only 10,000. And by the time you're diagnosed with your end stage disease, you have 5,000, which means your telomeres are critically short. That leads us into all of the diseases of aging because due to genomic instability. And so um, that creates epigenetic changes. Sorry, my cat just jumped up to like kind of attack me. <laughs> she said, okay, that's enough. Um, uh, hi. So, uh, so anyway, so those epigenetic changes lead to things like cancer. So keeping your telomeres long will protect your cells against cancer. Short telomeres lead to things like cancer, and all of the diseases of aging are at least correlated with short telomeres.
in my T lymphocytes. It actually lengthened um, to the approximate age of about 33 the last time we had it measured. So it continues to lengthen over time in small increments. So it is um, really fantastic. That we are very, very excited about. Now, did that happen in all of my body? So when we look at telomere science, we want that to happen in all of the cells of the body. And honestly, we're still working on technology that will make that happen. Liz Perch, especially for Marie Claire, Russia.